Tonight on the Kai Sum News Network, we have great stories for you tonight. First up, John Hamm has recently been running into some paparazzi trouble about his little ham. And then at a Little League game, Grandma ran into a bit of a problem scoring. This is the Kai Sum News Update. John Hamm's dick. Hi, I'm Ashley here with Kai Sum John Ham's dick. And I'm here with my new co-anchor, Logan Faust. John Ham's do up. Hi, Logan. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh. Today. Uh I graduated from the Kaisiendo uh school college community of uh, uh adult literacy. Great, so where are you from? Dakota! <clears throat> well, so tonight in sports... Today in sports, somebody threw a ball at an old lady, and the old lady said... Me. Yes, Logan, you're right. Um, in other news... In other news... Jack Nicholson is... John Hamm has a giant penis that everybody saw through his pants because somebody took pictures and it's not okay. Excuse me, excuse me, FCC. You Logan Faust? No. Yeah, you look like him. Huh? Yeah, we got him. Come on. Come with me. Come with me. Remember me as I was. Well, welcome to Okarant. Woo! Oh, you okay? Oh, shit. All right. Welcome to Au Courant. We're here today and we've got some fun stories for you. So first up, you just saw a lovely little um, ditty that Logan and I provided for you about AJ Clemente, the news anchor from North Dakota who is now New York bound. So how do we feel about this little slip up of his? I don't know if I call it a slip up. It sounds like that was more of a, a springboard to his career. And by the way, if anybody out there is looking for a new news anchor, he saw what I can do. <laughs> But yeah, no, he was on uh, the Today Show with Matt Lauer, like from North Dakota to the Today Show, sitting Ooh, next to Matt Lauer. Yeah. Yeah. Like if he hadn't screwed up if and he said that, cursed, that, he would be on the Today Show. He'd be stuck somewhere in like bum doodle North, North Dakota. Dakota. What is in North Dakota? Nothing. Bum doodles. Nothing bum doodles. <laughs> Can you define a bum doodle for me? The city of bum doodle. We export bums and we export doodles, which is where we got our name. <laughs> We was founded in 1912 with the great split of the of the Dakotas, which happened when President Lincoln lost a game of Scrabble to Robert E. Lee. What? True story. True story? <laughs> yeah. Somebody watched Lincoln. Yeah. Oh, God. Go Go so, in other news, the um, Chechnya Republic was very upset with, New, uh, not New York, sorry. Speaking of the city with of Bumdoodle. With America. <laughs> Speaking of the city of Boom Bumdoodle. Doodle. <laughs> Chechnya was very upset with America. Um, apparently, a lot of the American citizens who have been upset about the Boston bombings, mm -hmm. God bless you, Boston, Boston mm -hmm. strong, um, have been confusing Chechnya with the Czech Republic. I think it's important to point out, because I didn't know, and I, I bet you guys didn't either, yeah. that Chechnya exists, which is where... <laughs> They're there. They're actually right next door to Kazakhstan, where the infamous Borat's from. So. Yes, because I know where Kazakhstan is if I were to point it out on a map, because I, like most other Americans, care about the rest of the world. I'm glad that most Americans actually know that there's a Czech Republic to begin with, because most Americans That's don't Because it used to be happened. Czechoslovakia. I get that a lot. People, I've been to Prague. Okay. So but people call it Czechoslovakia, and people there are like, no, we're the Czech Republic. I just like to picture, like, some Northeastern guy... I just I don't understand. I don't, well, under I don't understand. I don't understand. You they, they sound the same. Chechnya, Chechnya, Czech Republic. They I, both have a C H C thing going on. They got all the freaking countries with the different names like Niger and Nigeria. I mean, what's two vowels? <laughs> I don't know. I can't spell. What's two vowels? What's a vowel? Thank you, America, for making us look even dumber than you we usually say. do. Keep it going, America. Oh, but God. I like that the Czech Republic, like actually put out a thing that's like, hey, we are the Czech Republic, not Chechnya. Which I think just highlights how- Those assholes didn't come from us, you know, like putting it out there. Put Czech Republic on the map. Like how many countries have to do that? Everyone's like, gonna out go visit now and be like, 
Are we in Chechnya? <laughs> like, what would you do if France was like, uh, this, this is, is where the terrorists are from, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a PSA from France. We are not Belgium. We know everyone thinks. <laughs> We're Belgium. They have the French fries, which I know you think come from us. We have us. the French toast. No, I'm just kidding. We have, <laughs> we have the pretty accents and the really rude po politicians. And the waffles. Mm -hmm. Those are good. Um, anyway. Wait, so I thought the b waffles were Belgium. Belgian. Didn't you say Belgian and France? It's all the same. Whatevs. Okay, so <laughs> America being even crazier than it normally is. Have you guys heard about the DG story? That from the girl University is my, Ireland. she's my idol. She yes. went batshit crazy yes. on her chapter. President of the Delta Gammas. She just showed her ass so well. She's wrote this incredible letter. Incredible. I her think word usage was it's inspiring. A it's a manifesto. I'm just really impressed <laughs> that the that all sisters out there. I DG's. can't believe a sorority girl knows what a manifesto is. She doesn't. I just. You know, she doesn't. She doesn't. But she called them asshats too. So I mean, <laughs> she was like, and, she was like the James Joyce of obscenity. She was using just a plethora of filth that she wove together. She like she spoke from the heart. She spoke from her heart. She's she a did. sorority girl. She spoke from the gaping hole in her did soul. Did you see? Wow. Did y'all see the version the the that ones, Michael so. Shannon did of her letter? Gen the dramatic reading. General yes. Zod in the Man of Steel. Boardwalk Empire. He was a bad guy in Boardwalk Empire. He so had a good career. read the hell out of that letter. I would. I want to see other celebrities read that letter. Like you mentioned, Christopher, Christopher Walken. Walken. Morgan Freeman would be great. Oh yeah. Um, if you open this letter like <laughs> I told you to, tie yourself down to whatever chair you're sitting in, because it's gonna be a rough ride. Or like President Obama during like a weekly address or something says that instead. That'd be awesome. I would. Are love you retarded? <laughs> uh, that's not. Athens. A rhetorical question. If you actually are retarded, I want you to email me back. And let me know. And what? you won't come to any of the parties. Republicans? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> I, that would be an audio book. I would buy that on iTunes. Oh, man. Well, in local news, the infamous Jazz Fest is back. Yes. Can we hear some some good news about that? Yes. I, uh, yes. I yes. today yes. won a ticket to it. Out of the blue! Oh my God! High five for you! Is I'm this going your first Sunday. Jazz fest yeah, I, I, and our lovely cameraman Paul helped build the entire thank you, thing. Paul. Come thank on, Paul! Paul. Thank, you, Paul. Paul. Thank, you, Paul. thank you, Paul! You're welcome. Paul, Go thank you so for welcome. all your hard work. All jazz fest by himself. <laughs> he did. It's One it. man job in a harness. He's also in playing. seven days. He's playing. <laughs> He's, seven days. Yeah. He's like God. <laughs> thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. I'll help Paul, the fame. Jazz Fest God. Yes, I'm excited because I have lived here numerous years of my life, mm -hmm. and I've never been. I have never, never been, been to Jazz Fest. I've never been to Voodoo. Are you going? I am going who Sunday. Um, I am actually not sure who I'm seeing. I wanted to go see Billy Joel. Um, not going to happen. Conflicting schedules. Right. Me and Billy just can't can't get together. Right. right. But um. Come out, Virginia, do it. That, that just turned into rockabilly. It did now. Yeah. Paul and Oates! Paul and Thank Oates. you, Paul. You Paul go. would know. Paul would know. I'm going to go see me some Paul and Oates. Thank Whoa, you, Paul. here she come. Watch out. Okay, anyway. All right. No. Um, but yes, so are y'all going at all? I'm going to try. I, I go for I've one been, day. Yeah. What day are you going? I don't know. I think you have a ticket for like next weekend or something. Uh, it's like for either tomorrow or next weekend. I know weekend. the Black Keys are playing. But I can't go I on the days that Fleetwood Mac are going. Fleetwood Mac! Oh, God, I'm... Dying when I can't see you, my loves. <laughs> um, Fleetwood Max playing. Uh, Black Billy Joel playing. Back, Dave Matthews. Dave Matthews. I, uh, John Mayer's playing John tomorrow Mayer. night. I'm, I'm playing as well. I'm gonna put on a blonde wig and be Jewel. Nice. Be Jewel. You are Jewel. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, you don't need the wig. No, you're good. Jewel with short haircut. <laughs> Who will save your soul? <laughs> I also do Alanis Morissette too. If I uh, Jewel and Alanis Morissette <laughs> in the same show. Uh -huh, if I just if I just die the way. We're gonna bring that to you in the coming weeks. I think, <laughs> I think that's gonna happen. That could work. That could definitely work. I would love to see Logan in a wig. It isn't it ironic? <laughs> Don't I love think? her. I love her. She's brilliant. Brilliant. We Jagged get, little pill. We should get. Her. I have that on vinyl. We should get her at Jazz Fest. But anyways. All right, y'all. Well, thanks. We're going to a break, and we'll see you when we get back. Me, no matter how you roll the dice, it's after me, the only one who means you and you for me. So watch Okarana. 
Da 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 da